Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be unboxing and reviewing the World by Us Community Center Accessory Set. So, I, if you watched my last video, you saw that I got this on sale. Um, it was actually one of the doorbusters on Black Friday and the doorbusters online were the same as the doorbusters in store. So if you couldn't get to a store, that was no worries. Um, everything was the same. And now that I'm here, I realize I forgot my scissors. So let me pause and get my scissors. Okay, so much better. Here we go. Okay, so the pieces in here are a lamp. And that's a lamp, okay. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm going to do it like this. Here's a lamp, at least the base of a lamp. There are instructions. Uh, it says the community center accessory set. So this is for how to get the lamp to work. So it looks like it is a working lamp. That's nice. It's a nice touch. So the lamp is kind of like this a big disco ball thing. Um, it's not a disco ball, but like it's made of these like glossy triangle. I don't know. Glossy is not the word. Sparkly, iridescent, and it does have. Let's see. Um. Ooh. Yep. So it had this little thing and this little piece of plastic too. Can't tell the difference. Let me turn this light off real quick. There we go. Off. On. And according to the instructions, this just twists. Twists. On. You know, this is what I get for like actually unboxing this in real life. I think you have to put it in and then twist. Well, what does it say? Yeah, they make it look super easy. Well, it says it just twists in. Hold on, let me try it one more time. Off camera so I'm not embarrassed. Uh, oh. There is a nifty little triangle right there that you line up with that. That's so... Oh, I love it when they come up with cheat sheets like that. There you go. And they actually just clicked into place. So this actually... On and off. There you go. Put it next to Makena. I guess my one thing about this... I'm going to turn the light back on. My one thing about this so far is that lamp is really small. Like, I get wanting to save money, but like it's not even as tall as the dolls. I don't know. I still think I like it. I think there are two pillows. So these are supposedly reversible. I guess they are. But there's clearly like that's the decorative side. And this pillow. Okay. And then there are cushions and a rug. And a so we'll see the rug is double-sided as well there's this like let's see if you can see the print it's black it's black white and like this brown beigey color um but i wouldn't say it is black and white this side is definitely like wow colors you've got that and then the big piece of course they put at the bottom It is heavy. So, I mean, I, I do think they did a good job making this set worth it with the big piece. Um, it is very, like, that engineered wood. It is wood, but it's very plasticky wood. So I'm going to call it engineered. Whoops. Whoa. Don't do that. Okay. And then what's supposed to be interesting about this is that they, they really did try to do a bunch of mix and match sets of like, or I shouldn't say mix and match, but reversible so you can mix and match. So 
So like if you want it like that, you can do it this way or you could flip it in half the other way. I like to put pillows on there. And I know some people didn't like the mismatch and I just have to, you know, just remind you like this is for a community center. Um, sometimes this is what community centers look like. I mean, this is still super nice stuff. Um, super nice, high quality, uh, but mismatch is probably what you're going to find in a youth center, community center. Like that's kind of expected. So, uh, it doesn't bother me. Um, I think this, this rug and this, this particular color is a little bit too much. Um, so I'm not going to use that, but, um, I will correction. I'll use the, the black, white, and brown side. I think if I had the, the whole community center, this would match more, but I, I chose not to get that, um, partially because I already had Julie's locker. I'm like, I really don't need another locker set. And it was kind of weird. It didn't come with a chair. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's an okay piece. Uh, it was one of those that I put on my wish list, but I would only buy it if it went on sale. And so it retailed at $100, but on sale I got it for $60, and I think this is worth it for $60. I, I think this is actually a really good set for $60. I think that's a great price. At $100, I think that was pushing it a little bit. Um, like... It needs something else in order to push it to that hundred mark and I don't know if that is um, a second light or a little side table. I don't know. They usually put their side tables as separate and extra and I think that's probably what the mini fridge was supposed to be. It could double as a side table. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... I've spent many an hour in youth rooms and I, I don't know what I would add, but something definitely needs to be added to this to bring it up to $100. Uh, but 60 I think that's a great deal. So uh, overall, I think uh, if I had to get it a rating, I don't know. I still think I'd give it a B plus. That's really good materials. Um, I, I do like the mix match and the, the, purpose, the purposefulness of that. I like that they did include a light. I like that it works. I like that the batteries are replaceable. Um, they are the like watch batteries. So <laughs> if you're an American Girl fan, you probably have a stash of them as backups or you just let them run dead and then never use them again. But um, I'm weird and I've got a stash of them. <laughs> and I like that I can replace them. That's, that's a nice touch. But overall, I, I do think there's something missing, and I really can't quite my, put my finger on it. Um, so with that, I'm going to pause. I did set up a community center-esque area in my doll room. Um, I, it's actually, it's more craft and hangout, but um, I did use these community center pieces, and if you've watched my channel, you know I just got Isabelle's um, sewing studio. So it's just trying to bring all of those pieces together and a couple of other things I had around um, trying to um, pull something together that I like. And it's, you know, still a work in progress, but I'm going to move the, the last sort of piece of this was the, the couch. And that's why I needed to unbox this and get a video of it made um, so I can add it to my version of a community center. So I'm going to pause, um, get the couch set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the, the room I have set up so far. Um, I'm not fully done with it. I, like, I really just sort of started working on this. Um, I mean, relative to when I put the, 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 the video with the, the box unboxing of the couch. Um, I mean, honestly, just an hour ago. So, excuse me, I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long week, people. <laughs> um, so, I have sort of put together this community center area. Uh, so I incorporated Isabel's dance studio, not dance studio, sewing studio. 
And I have an R Generation sewing set that I added here. This is the student council voting table and Mia's bedroom chair. Um, I have uh, other art supplies I've just gathered over time. Uh, let's see. Uh, remember which one of these. There we go. And then more on this side, um, I have... Um, there's a, behind Maritza is a, just a smaller table with craft supplies on it. I have the, just like, you know, Disney ILY Rapunzel craft set, some of Sage's craft stuff, uh, Julie's locker and her pinball machine. There is a recycling bin over there, if you can see it. And then I've got McKenna on the couch. And so, um, one thing I know is that some people aren't huge fans of, like, when they have their doll room setups is like having something like the couch sort of like like her back is to me but I I think it makes it more realistic in my eyes like this is more yeah just just ignore the mess over there I'm working on oh I'm working I'm gonna get it done the goal is Christmas we'll see um but I think it just gives it a more like, this is a community center. This is a craft hangout area. I, I really like that. So, um, hopefully you can see kind of where I was going with this. Um, again, craft table, community center table, 100%. That's an awesome set. Um, I just feel like something's missing from this uh, community center accessories from the, the couch and the light and the pillows and like I said I, I do like the rug the rug is probably my favorite piece <laughs> it shouldn't be but I like it like that's the thing that's so easy to make and yet it's my favorite piece so um yeah b to b plus for the community center accessories that I highlighted in this video definitely an a plus for that community center craft table okay so that's my video um I have a few more things to unbox that I've just been very slow at making videos recently. It's, you know, tis the season um, of busyness, so I'm working as hard as I can, but um, I do have some, some plans that hopefully I will accomplish before um, the end of the year. So thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time.